what is up guys welcome back to the channel this is going to be just kind of a quick like overview slash review video because i realized i have not made a video about the new tires and wheels i got a while back for the hummer um actually i think i had one filmed on the camera but it was dark um didn't really feel like uploading that video so i'm gonna just make a fresh one i might include some of those old clips i don't know yet uh but yes bought uh, new tires and wheels for the hummer uh, a little while ago actually so yeah it's a little bit dirty right now um but we're gonna go over this anyway so back in october believe it or not it's actually been that long it's crazy and i've almost put about ten thousand miles on this setup already um actually that's kind of uh insane it doesn't feel like i've had them that long obviously i did not get the uh, spare tire yet i have yet to do that but i do need to do that uh but anyway um we've got the black rhino wheels uh you guys have probably seen these or this brand online they do a lot of posts uh with jeeps or like overlanding vehicles uh, overlanding vans and stuff like that uh so i i decided on these wheels these are the Black Rhino. I believe these are the Armory, if I remember correctly. Um, if not, I'll correct it up here somewhere. Um, so Black Rhino Armory wheels. And I got these because of uh, two reasons. Number one, this is a Hummer. So kind of wanted that military-ish style of look for it, which these wheels were designed that way. And kind of styled after like a military Humvee uh, wheel. And, uh, you know, also I wanted to go a little bit bigger. Uh, the factory size on Hummers was 16 inches. And, uh, you know, I went up to 18 on these. I didn't want to go to anything like 20s. 18 was my max on this specific vehicle. And I wanted to uh, have a little bit of a stance, a little bit of a, uh, you know, poke. You know, nothing super super wide uh, because this is a daily driver and uh, you know also went with the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss all-terrain uh, which is actually kind of crazy uh, it doesn't look much like an all-terrain tire it's a really good looking all-terrain tire and uh, yeah that's, uh, that's what we went with here on the Hummer and I, I really think it did a good job achieving the look that I was going for and you know, like I said I wanted that off-road kind of look uh, but I also wanted to keep it you know fairly you know, clean and fairly simple so yeah we'll check out the wheel a little bit more like I said they are dirty uh, but the one thing about this this wheel that I really like is it almost matches the color of the h3 uh, so that's pretty cool and uh, you know I was kind of concerned about like the heat because there's as you see there's absolutely zero holes there's no way for heat to escape uh, from the brakes um, but I don't think it's really been much of an issue uh, right now I mean my brakes they are getting a little bit warped I can tell that uh, but it is it's been a while uh, since I put brake rotors on here uh, so it's going to happen when you put bigger tires uh, so yeah 33s fit on a uh, h3 without a lift uh, if you watch a few videos back i did raise the torsion bars just a little bit uh, just to level it out uh, they are not maxed out so the ride quality is not terrible um, but yeah 33s fit and i have zero rubbing you know nothing hits it does come pretty close in the back but nothing does hit anything so we're clear there and that's always a plus you know when you're putting larger tires on your vehicle but yeah, since I put those on back in October, I've had them for snow. Uh, we haven't gotten a lot of snow this year, but they did real well for the, as far as like winter driving. And they do extremely well as far as daily driving. Now, they aren't loud. They do produce a little bit of noise, but they're really not that loud. Uh, really just an overall really good tire. I definitely highly, highly recommend. So yeah, 10,000 miles almost. Zero issues out of the wheels or tires. Aside from one little issue is the center cap sticker is actually coming off of one of those wheels. Uh, but that's something that could easily be replaced. Um, I haven't really, you know, talked to this company or anything, never reached out um, for as far as any like social media stuff, but I figured I'd just kind of throw a little bit of a review out there. Um, you know, solid wheel. Um, like I said, no complaints. It seems like they were balanced out pretty nicely. I did order them from Custom Offsets, so they came mounted, balanced, and uh, ready to go. Uh, you know, I didn't have to do anything but just throw them on to the uh, to the Hummer and uh, call it good. And uh, it came packaged real nice um, from Custom Offsets. So I highly recommend Custom Offsets if you guys are looking for a new wheel and tire setup. I actually just 
bought a new setup for the truck. I can't wait for that to come in. Uh, but yeah, no complaints out of the Black Rhino wheels at all. Uh, definitely no complaints out of the Mickey Thompson tires. Uh, I 100% highly recommend those tires if you're looking for a, a good, you know, good looking all-terrain tire uh, that still kind of looks aggressive, but it doesn't look and it doesn't act as aggressive as a mud tire and doesn't make a whole lot of noise on the road. And Black Rhino has an assortment of different styles and different sizes. Uh, this is, like I said, 18, and I believe it's an 18 by 9. So it does have a little bit of that poke, which is perfect for the look that I was going after on this particular vehicle. Um, I don't think they have anything extremely wide. You'll just have to check it out. I'll put the link to their website down in the description, as well as a link to Custom Offsets. I am a brand ambassador for Custom Offsets, so if you need any tires and wheels for anything, make sure you select Bad Z71 in the referral box. So yeah, quick little review on the Black Rhino wheels, the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss all-terrain tires. One more time, I put 10,000 miles on these almost so far. Absolutely no complaints. Great tire. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but you do get what you paid for. So I highly recommend. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helps you if you're trying to look for new tires and wheels for your Hummer, your Jeep, your truck, whatever it may be, and uh, you don't know anything about Black Rhino because I definitely didn't and there's really not a lot of content out there. So with all that being said, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for future content on both the Hummer as well as my 97 Chevy pickup, and we will see you guys in the next video.